All right, welcome back. So we are going to add enemy uh, to the game. But before we do that, let's fix one bug that we have. Um, well, it's not a bug, but we haven't considered that earlier. So we need to make sure that um, our character isn't able to shoot when it's dead. So <laughs> let's add a um, sub event here. We'll just say, uh, Spoon said dead. We we'll invert that. So, and then if our character is not dead, then uh, we'll check the direction. Oops, we need to put this right here. Um. Oh, I guess we need to add more sub event. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, let's try again. Uh. So I guess we need to add more sub event here. One sub event here. If but it's like if the character is not dead and we want to check if the right direction is true if it's true then we oh okay well it seems like i exceeded the limit okay i'm just going to sign in right now because i have a uh, free account uh, and then if you have a free account, it will give you more events. All right, so I have more now. Okay, um, if you did the previous tutorial where you publish your game, you should have an account, and then it will give you 50, 50 accounts on the free version. Um, all right, I'll analyze sub event here. Hmm. Add sub event, and then Spoon said, right direction. If that is not true, then we're going to do this. Okay, so when we place press, press, press space bar, and if the character is not dead, if it's facing right, then we will shoot the bullet to the right side, and if it's facing left, we will shoot the bullet to the left side. Okay, we don't need to test this because I'm pretty sure it will work. Um, really? Didn't I? Okay. All right. Um, all right. So what are we gonna do again? Oh yeah, we're adding a um, we're adding uh, enemy, right? So what do you think the first thing is gonna be? An enemy is pretty much the same thing as a moving trap that we did earlier um oh yeah so first we need graphics for the enemy you can do that by going to um downloading pixel adventure 2 right this is free again um and you, know, you search just search pixel adventure 2 and inside picture pixel adventure 2 you have a bunch of enemies that you can use yep so Use that, or feel free to draw your own, or use another main character in Pixel Adventure One. Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, so right click. We're gonna insert a new sprite somewhere, and then we're going to right click uh, import frames from strip. Um, Pixel Adventure Two, and then what are we going to use as our enemy? It really doesn't matter. So we will use a oh, why don't we use a ghost? And then ghost appear, disappear. Okay, well I will use this idle animation I assume. Let's see how this look. Wow That is messed up. Okay, let's use another one. It's not, it didn't slice it correctly. Okay, why did it not slice it correctly? Let's see. Ghost. So how many frames is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten frame. Um, but I think it detected eleven, so that's why it's not working. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, so right click, import frames from strip, and then we'll do this, idle, 
and this will contain frames. Uh, and then we import. Okay, all right, so now it's working. And we want to loop this. Okay, so I know already that I want to have the enemy move left and right, left and right, just like the moving platform. So I'm gonna call this animation left. I'm gonna duplicate this. And then I'm gonna flip everything. Ah, flip the entire animation to the right side. And we're gonna go this right. So we have left, right. Okay. Um, I X this out. Uh, wow, this enemy is a little bit small. Okay, I'm gonna put them right here. And since I want him to move left and right, left and right, I need to make him change direction. So I'm gonna use the left, right, um, move left, move right icon we have earlier uh, from the moving platform. Okay, so this will be our marker to tell it to move left, move right. Okay, so we have one over here. Well, why don't we just do one for now? Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. So you can add more later, okay? Uh, all right, so now we need to program the ghost. So we go to the event sheet, uh, add event. Um, so we will have the ghost. Oh yeah, we need to add it. We need to add a custom movement to the ghost, I forgot. Um, so click on the ghost behavior. We're gonna add custom. Okay. So we have a custom movement for the ghost. And let's look back at what we did for the moving platform. So we have the thing where like the moving platform, if we move the right, it will change the left. If we move, hit the move right icon, we will change, move the direction to the right. Uh, and I believe we have a thing to set this direction in the beginning, right? Yeah, like right here. And initially we set the direction to the right. Uh, yep, yeah, right direction and to the speed. So we're going to do that same thing for the ghost. Uh, but since the ghost is uh, facing left in the beginning, right? So let's make it go to the left. So custom angle of motion, we'll set that to the left. Left is 180 degree. Uh, remember, 0, 90, 180. So 180, uh, and then we will make the ghost have a speed of, where's the speed, right here, um, 150. It's a little bit slower than the moving platform. Uh, and we should probably change the name of it to keep things organized. Um, ghost, where's the ghost? Right here. This is called ghost. Okay, all right. So and then, so we we have the initial speed, initial movement, and then we need to do the same thing here, right? So if ghost hit the is in collision with the move left, we will change ghost direction to left. So ghost, uh, the custom angle of motion is the left side, which is one eighty. And then if ghost is uh, it collide with the move right icon, we are going to tell ghost to move to the right, which is zero degree angle, like such. Um, all right, let's try this. Hello, welcome to platform world. Hey, why did my <laughs> hello my ghost? Oh, you know what? I <laughs> you see what happened? Um, the ghost follow me, follow my moving because I said to the wrong layer again. <sighs> okay, <laughs> so I guess when you design a level, make sure you have layer zero selected. If you don't, just make sure you change the layer back to layer zero. 
This messed me up so many times. All right. The ghost is moving left and right. Well, it's not moving left. Okay, why is that? Maybe because my uh, icons are on the layer, UI layer again. All right, when they change everything to layer zero, so they don't move with the character. Sorry about that, I keep forgetting. You can avoid that problem by just selecting Hello. layer zero Welcome when you place the object. Alright, now it's working. We only need to change the animation so it's left and right, left and right. Okay, uh, I think the ghost is like floating mid-air. Let's uh, move him down a little bit like this. Uh, okay, so now in the programming thing, uh, so move left, so we need to change the animation. Ghost, set animation to left. And then when he's going right, we will change the ghost animation uh, to the right. It's working. World. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is like uh, when the when the character hit the ghost, you know, will character will die. Um. So we add an event if the character is uh, on collision with the ghost. Okay, then where's our die sequence? Ah, uh, the die sequence is same as this one. Um. So okay. So if if the player is not dead already, we so we need to add another condition. If player is not dead, so if if dead is not true, um, so we will check the boolean dead. We will invert it. If not dead, if okay, so if the player is uh, hit the ghost and dead is not true, then we're going to execute the same thing we did here. Basically, we're going to set the animation, player animation to dying. We're going to set a timer for restart. We are going to play the game over sound, and we're going to set that as true. So, we are, I guess, I'm adding something random here for now. Paste, delete, okay. So if this and this is true, if both of these are true, then we'll do this. So I guess this is the same thing as a sub event, except sub event is like you have like multiple options. It could be this is one option, this is the second option. Anyway, it's multiple ways of doing things. Okay, let's try this. Hello, welcome to Platform World. All right. Hello. Well, it works. Welcome to Platform okay, World. Okay, now we need to able to kill the ghost by shooting it. Uh. Huh. What is going on here? <laughs> Seems like my Hello. Welcome to Platform my World. Dead firewall did not get reset when I respawn. Uh yeah, okay. So on the start of a level I need to reset my uh dead equals to force. So set boolean dead is equal to force. Okay, let's try this again. Hello, welcome okay, so I'm to able to shoot. World. So the dead viral got reset. World. Okay, so now I need to be uh, able to kill the ghost using the shooting arrow. So that is very easy. You just do, hey, if the ghost is in collision with the bullet, then we can, well, we're going to destroy the ghost. That is, uh, yeah, we're going to destroy the ghost and let's give it some score, okay? So we'll add 10 points to the score. Uh, add to score. 
10 point. Save this, and we're gonna run it. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Okay, we killed the ghost. Um, except we should play a sound. But anyway, you can do that. Uh, so that's it for adding the enemy. It's very easy. Enemy is basically just a moving platform Hello. and a uh, platform trap world. combined. Um, all right. Well, I'm not gonna promise this is the last tutorial, but good job making it this far. I'll see you next time.